Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to Words for the Soul, to True Vine, to all those who are tuning in, friends and loved ones. Thank you for joining us on week six. Ask you right now if you would do a share this page with somebody, um, do a watch party so if someone can hear the words and the comforting words of the scripture. I was so pleased to have two people um, this week give me a call and say how much words for the soul have impacted their lives. And I had one young lady who called and said, you know what, I was in the midst of having a, um, what do you call, um, when you have an, a, a, um, panic a panic attack, that's the word. And um, she was in the midst of that and God brought to her I, I remember I hear overseer's voice and see her face while I'm going through as she was going through and this panic attack was happening. The scriptures were beginning just to soothe her and to give her calm. So as we go forth from today, we're praying that these words for the soul will bless your heart. Thank you for tuning in. I want to start off today with a quote from Maya Angelou. And it reads, I've heard that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did but people will never forget how you made them feel. The words for the soul come tonight to intentionally encourage you, inspire you, to heal you, to let you know that you are chosen, forgiven, and accepted, and loved. And the thing about it, as I talk about the scriptures today, dealing with purpose, what the world needs is you living out your purpose. There is nothing more powerful in life than you living out the purpose that God has given you individually. It is when you are doing that that you truly feel most alive. Joshua 1 and 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you whenever you go. Jeremiah 17 and 7. But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Proverbs 3. 25 and 26 have no fear of sudden disaster or the ruin that overtakes the wicked for the Lord will be at your side and he will keep your foot from being snared Psalm 16 and 11 you will show me thy way of life granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever Jeremiah 29 and 11 this is Bishop Trevor Alexander's favorite scripture. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Ephesians 2 and 10, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do good things he planned for us long ago. Ephesians 3 and 20, now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power and work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. So whatever you're dealing with, whatever your purpose, whatever your goal, whatever your vision is, remember with God, he can help you to go through that and to master it. Philippians 2 and 13, for God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. Romans 8 and 28. We know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. John 10 and 10. The thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and to destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. All these scriptures today are to encourage you and remind you that God's purpose for your life is to be a blessing, to do what he's called you to do. Don't give up. You might get tired, but don't give up. Proverbs 13 and 12. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. You don't want your goals, your purpose to wither and die, but it's birth and bears fruit and is productive. Luke 19 and 13. So he called ten of his servants and gave them ten minutes, but this money to work. He said, until I come back. Hebrews 11 and 7. By faith Noah, when warned about things not seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. 
but by faith he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that is keeping with faith. Psalms 32 and 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Isaiah 40 and 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Remember your purpose. Stay focused on it. Vision 2020. We have to stay focused. The enemy is going to try to steal, kill, and destroy and disrupt you. But continue on. Proverbs 15 and 9. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue righteousness. Because there's times you might be scared, you might experience roadblocks, you might have hiccups, or you may even get sucker punched by certain things that happen in your life. But I tell you, don't give up. Don't give in. Psalms 56, 3 and 4 says, When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise. In God I trust and am not afraid. What can mortal men do to me? 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For the Spirit of God gave us, does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. And you know, I just want to say those last three. The Spirit of God gives us power, love, and self-discipline. As you are pursuing your purpose, remember that. God, give me the power to love and to do, to have self-control, to have love one for another. Jeremiah 1, 4 through 8 says, The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Thank you, God. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am too young. You may go to everyone. I send you and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you, and I will rescue you, declares the Lord. Stand up, let your voice be heard. Whatever your purpose is, is it to write a book, and to start a, your job, or whatever God has called you to do, or go back to school, keep continuing to do what God has called you to do. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave you, and the peace I may give you. I do not give to you as the world does. Do not let your heart be troubled, and do not be afraid. Psalms 32 and 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Thank you, Lord. Luke 21 and 15. For I will give you words and wisdom that none of your adversaries will be able to resist or contradict. No matter what's going on, God has a way. To work out all things that need to be done. John 10, 27 and 29. Just a reminder, the scripture says, My sheep listen to my voice. It's so important to have that relationship with the Lord. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. Philippians 1 and 6. Being confident of this, that he that began a good work in you will carry it out into the completion, into the day of Christ Jesus. So if you're feeling like it's not moving fast enough, it's moving slow, and you feel like, God, I just, I want to throw up the towel, I want to give up. But God, in the midst of this, you said and you reminded us in Philippians 1 and 6. Be confident. Be confident in the ability that God has placed you and be confident in your anointing. Be confident in the, the gift that you are ready to go back to school. You're ready to do what God has called you to, to pursue and overtake and to become what God has called you. Hebrews 10, 19 and 20. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through curtains. That is his body. Let us unwaveringly to the hope we profess, for he promises faithful. Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear. Just a reminder, I will be with you. 
Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We have to be determined to see and experience what the enemy is trying to keep me from experiencing. What is the enemy trying to stop you from accomplishing? I know firsthand what it feels like when the intimidation may come and straggling. Um, you feel like you're being strangled around your neck per se, but you have to continue to be committed to what God has called you to do. You have to know that God has given you a purpose. God has given you a vision and confirmed it through his written word that we can be bold, courageous, and strong regardless of what we may be scared or what we may be fearful of doing, but we're going to pursue and continue to walk in our purpose. Amen. 2 Timothy 2 and 22. And if you know someone is having a hard time right now, make sure you share these scriptures with them. Let them know that this would comfort, would inspire them, that it would encourage them as they're going through. Or someone may be in their nursing home in the hospital, or you have a friend that's just having a hard time doing this time of being in, um, doing the COVID time. Share these scriptures with them. Proverbs 11 and 19. Truly the righteous attain life, but whosoever pursues evil finds death. 1 Samuel 30 and 8. And this is our, our theme for this year at True Vine Church. And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I pursue this raiding party? Will I overtake them? And the word that comes back. Pursue them, he answered. You will certainly overtake them and succeed in the rescue. So I say to do for you today, pursue, pursue, pursue your purpose, pursue your goals, pursue the things that God has placed on your heart. Got to open up the doors, be mindful that God can do the things that seem impossible. And what you may, may think that you can't do on your own, God can use you, connect you to those who need to be connected to for doors to open. I'm a witness to that. As we get ready to go to the Lord in prayer, thank you again for tuning in tonight for words of the soul that are making an imprint and impacting your life. So, Father, I thank you for everyone that's hung tonight. Bless their family, bless their children, bless their community, their churches, wherever they may be. God, we speak healing and we declare decree from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, God, that you would heal, that you would deliver, that you would set free. We speak peace, we speak hope, God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you that no weapon formed against your people will prosper. Thank you that they're more than overcomers through you in Christ Jesus, God. We give you praise and we give you glory, hallelujah. God, I thank you for those who are going to the doctors and they're hearing these reports, God. God, we come against that fear, but we know that you're able to heal them. We know that you're able to keep them and put comfort there. So we say thank you tonight, God, and our trust is in you. We will not be halted, no matter what the darts or the javelins that the enemy may throw. But we know that our God is greater, our God is stronger, and we give him praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for joining in for Words of the Soul. And if this has blessed you or others, please put in the comments, share this with somebody, let them know every Sunday, 6 o'clock p.m., Overseer M. Alexander of True Vine will be sharing words of the soul that come to inspire you and to uplift you. Be encouraged tonight as you have a wonderful evening. Blessings unto you.